Nebraska basket, and Darren Williams, who I mentioned a moment ago, missed nine of his last ten. So where did the Nets get their offense? Joe Johnson has had the hot hand here during the overtime periods. Williams on the drive, and the scoop shot over the top, beautifully done by Darren Williams, pulling the Nets within three. Dang, looking for the screen from Gibson, nothing there. And Evans going to pick up the foul. That will be five on Reggie Evans. Let's check in with Rachel. Well, guys, uh, during that last timeout, both Derek Rose and Joakim Noah, two guys not on the floor for very different reasons right now, went over to Carlos Boozer and said, you have got to win this game. And Boozer looked at both of them, pointed to Joakim and said, I've got you. Pointed to Derek Rose said, I've got you. We'll do it. Ran back out on the floor. Well, Boozer has been the main offensive weapon for Chicago throughout this series. And Dang steps up and knocks down the jumper. Chicago by five, 135-130. What a game we have had here this afternoon. Joe Johnson working on Butler. Williams for three, no. Here we wanted to just test out your play by play skills. I just want to grab a sandwich. Where did you go? A sandwich, okay. Just under two minutes. Romantic in this third overtime. I heard you though in the hallway. Did you were excellent. Thank you. I got a lot of play by play experience. Here's Heinrich for three. Now to a minute 35 remaining in this third overtime. That pass. Watson trying to save it, but not. Oh, picked off by Williams on a steal. Watson for three. And Dang is pulled down. Evans and Dang getting involved. It's on Evans at number six. Here's a great steal. First from Gibson and then... Trying to do a little too much. Williams just picks his pocket. Watson would love to have this one back. Wide open look. And there you see the last foul on Evans. Reggie Evans contributing 15 points, 13 rebounds. Both these teams have established new franchise playoff ties. Most points and a playoff game. Remarkable for game three and 155 points total between the two teams. We're now at 265 in this three overtime game. There you see a franchise playoff record for points. Nets at 127 points in a triple overtime game back in 04 at Detroit. And the Bulls in Boston, 131, and a double overtime back in 86. Coming up on a minute remaining in this third overtime. A critical defensive possession here by the Nets. Hydra passed out a three, shoots for two. Rebounded by Lopez. Front rim, which indicates fatigue. That's a shot Heinrich was making the entire first half. It's like 59 minutes here. Lopez is fouled. Fouled by Gibson. Boy, I thought he got away with a walk there. Uh, the, the Chicago crowd, everybody signaling with their hands. They wanted to travel. Let's take a look. Gibson slides over. You can't really see Lopez's feet. There we go. I see he stepped right on top of Gibson's foot. And that's what forced him off balance. So Gibson has fouled out. Ten points for Ty Gibson. Bulls have now lost Noah, Robinson, and Gibson. The Nets have lost the two forwards, Wallace and Evans. 
Lopez now six of eight at the line. Five apiece on the Boozer and Heinrich. And, and the guy the Bulls just cannot afford to lose is Heinrich. Without Robinson already, you've got to have somebody to handle the ball. Marcus Teague, the rookie from Kentucky, would be forced into action. He's not experienced this kind of game before. Heinrich backing his way on Watson. 40 seconds remaining in this third overtime. Five on the shot clock. Here's Nazi Mohammed with a big bucket. Timeout call by the Nets. The Bulls with a 137 132 lead. It's been a collective effort throughout this series for the Bulls, and they've had a great contribution from Nazi Mohammed. 